Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings uh, 3. I'm the Emperor and here in this playlist um, we upload some VODs from Twitch streams. If you're not following over there, come join us. Uh, we are live a bunch of times a week, so it's quite fun. And um, we're trying to teach the game as best we can by me just explaining what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And answering questions from chat about things that are in there. Or taking suggestions from chat about things that are interesting to do or things that I might not even see or know because it's a very complex and large game and sometimes that is the case. You don't know and see everything. Speaking of which, um, so Norway is kind of ripping itself apart right now which is very good for us because we have some designs over on Norway because we just created our own religion, the Harbringers of God or rather the Harbies and let's just unpause and let's keep going a little bit here. I need to stop wobbling. I don't know. It's it's this weird thing where I wobble with my feet and then everything on me wobbles and it looks like I'm constantly like tweaking out. <laughs> uh, but I can't stop. It's just it's just a comfort thing. Oh, look at that. The Petty Kingdom of Smoland. Or the Petty Kingdom of Westgötland. <sighs> we can only ever go for Norway. And that is a bit of a... Oh, is it a problem still? The... Oh, that's the Kingdom of Sweden we're going for. Not Norway. So that's not so bad. 2,000 soldiers here, 700 soldiers there. And since we're no longer our father, who had a problem with having no prestige whatsoever to spend and no gold whatsoever to spend either, we always shied away from starting a crusade up there. Uh, but now looking at this, this might actually be fairly decent. Let's see. So Norway is super bad. Super bad right now. Like they're in big trouble here. They have 2,700 and 5,000, so around 5,000. If we can bring in some allies, that would be fine. Like these join definitely. Other Catholics might join the war. Well, there's definitely no fellow harbingers yet, so we need to be careful what we're doing here. Um. So let's check if the Kingdom of Sweden, they are Ostaru. So I feel like... Wait a moment. Okay, if we attack on the... Huh? <laughs> so if we start a crusade for the Kingdom of Norway from this perspective... Then we are not fighting a crusade against Christians, so Catholics are not going to join here. Well, this is a complete cluster mess over here in Scandinavia right now. I don't even know exactly how it is possible that we are fighting Smoland that does not even hold the Kingdom of Norway over this. I mean, we are definitely also fighting the Norwegians, but they are Catholics. They are not... It makes very little sense to me, but I think we're just going to go for it. I wanted to do a holy war, a great holy war, a crusade in our own name. Um, and that's what we're going to go do. So, let's go ahead and declare it. So, the crusade for Norway. Oh, boy. I forgot the fanfare is coming in. See, it could stop here, but then it goes back up. It's a long fanfare. It goes hard, though. It goes real hard. I wish it were shorter. It's cool, but it's so long. Okay, Archabbot Dorothy has called for a crusade to unite all true harbingers under the single banner and to lead them against the enemies of the faith. 
The time has finally come to consecrate the grounds of Norway with the blood of the heathens and claim this land for the glory of Saint Kenneth and Deus Vult indeed. The crusade is launched for Norway immediately. Like there's no build up, nothing. Um, okay, so now let's let's see how we can do this. Uh, the attackers are... Oh, right, right. They join, even if they are my vassals, they join as allies alongside us. So this is actually much stronger than it would be otherwise. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's pretty cool. Now, the big question I do have is, can I call in proper regular allies like the French? And I don't think I can. No. No. But we could uh, recreate some inactive accolades. I think we definitely need to do that. So this guy can go in. Do we have more that we can appoint? Oh, we actually do. Oh, hello. That's actually pretty good. Oh, 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 wow. What? We have one for everything? Well, now color me impressed. Do we even have successes? I shouldn't think so. But... Maybe for the last one, because there were actually quite a few there. Ah, well, okay. That's not bad. Okay, let's check this here. Um, our niece will be... Who will be the beneficiary? I don't really... I mean, sure, let, let it be our niece. Sure, why not? Uh, so rank is zero, contribution is nothing. <laughs> And, um, okay, we can't raise our troops here where we would like to raise them. These are hostiles. These are not actually part of our enemies. So that's a bit of a problem because obviously we were banking on being able to raise our armies here and march straight into the Kingdom of Norway, uh, onto their capital. So let's just wait for the enemies of Norway to kind of scatter around and then we raise our armies here still. Because they are definitely going to have to fight... Like they have to get out of our lands if they want to fight the Norwegians. So we're jumping into war here. And I think we might be able to raise our troops back there. But I feel like they don't have enough room. So we are likely to spread around a little bit. Uh, let's go. And put up some... Nope. Uh, wrong window. Still wrong window. There we go. Let's move a flag or something here. So we can raise all there. I, I need to wait for a moment at least until these guys are gone. Because I'm afraid that if I raise all here, we are going to spread into where they are. And that would be very bad if we get crushed instantaneously here. Oh! We actually got something good out of a inspiration. Good evening, Edgar Hilario. We are the same faith that you helped create in the last stream. We are Harbingers of uh, God. You were there. You helped create them. You picked things. But, of course, I can show you the... Uh, the thing in a moment. I, j I just want to take care... Not to, uh, whoops. Not to lose my soldiers here to something silly. Due to inattentiveness. So let me just move them around real quick and then we can have a quick look at the religion. There we go. And you were part of that. Armed pilgrimages. I think that is what something that you wanted. So. Someone else. My husband has once again absent from our bed. He would never disrespect the sanctity of our marriage. He wouldn't. He wouldn't dare. I don't worry. Okay, our allies have arrived or are arriving. So we're just gonna go push into the enemy lands slowly but surely. Again, I want to avoid who the enemy of ours is at war with at the moment. Now, I did see some of them take two ships, so there's always a chance that they're going to pop up somewhere in our own lands. Which, of course, we would like not to happen. An enemy ally joins the war. The king of Sweden. Cute. 
Yes, uh, my king, please, come in. Serve me well. You could have brought money. But he's kind of unhappy for not having a seat on the council. Eh. We're a meritocracy over here. You get the seat on the council if you earn it. Okay, so the first piece... Our councillor died, he drank himself to death. Why can I not pick a new councillor then? So our first piece of victory has happened, and now we go for the capital of our enemy here. Sometimes I feel like councillor doesn't exactly mean what it, uh, what they think it means. Uh, faith in our land, sure. So Harbies is what we are, Insula is what we were. So we're we're, we're still working on it. But every top-level ruler is, I think, of our religion at the moment. So that's pretty nice. So here are the Crusaders now, besieging the capital of our enemy. I did see another fleet of his just now. Good evening, Captain Bira, and welcome. Let me turn on chat, actually. I always like, kind of feel like, oh, I'm, I'm going to turn chat on later when, when people are actually chatting. Like, we're going to stand here and defy, defeat this little army. Our enemies are sailing around. Oh, might they, might they seek battle over here? Oh yes, they might. Very good for us. So they're coming on ships and they're landing there into something that we are defending. So we will have a good chance of defeating them proper hard here. If we arrive in time for that to matter. But they're very split apart as well. So that's pretty cool. Ah, nice. Thanks for the contribution for the Civilization thick, uh, 6 adding it to the game roster challenge there. So right now we are at a bit of a disadvantage. But I'm hoping that our allies will join the fight and turn it around. We will have the numerical superiority for sure. So, there's a good chance. Yes, indeed. We did turn it around at the last hour. And that is a bad defeat for him. Though, hey, I mean, 12% added to war score. That's, that's not nothing. That is not nothing. Question is, do we go north or do we go east? In terms of what Norway is, going north would be better for us. So we're going to go north. We'll fight these few people here. Yeah, out of points and now. <laughs> Darn. I don't think I can give you any points. Otherwise I would. I just kind of have to get them. So the good thing is that this army is in full retreat. And they're going to pass an army that is hostile to them. Through which they will have to go to get at us yet again. So right now, that was a very important victory for us to win, I think. But we'll have to keep an eye on what they do. They might just come back and... You know. I mean, you can already see them walking back toward our lands here. Taking to sea again. Which is good for us, because that costs them a lot of money. Ecstatic Peasantry. The peasants of the county of Middlesex are in a good mood. Their harvest is bountiful, the roads are safe, and the village's elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese lady laying golden eggs. Well, that's fantastic. If I could lay golden eggs, I would bestow you with all the crowns in the world right now. <laughs> okay, so they are trying to retake the capital here. Why is this such a big fortress, though? I mean, I have Onagas and everything. Why is this such a difficult fight here? Okay, let's go south and fight them once more before they fully consolidate their forces because that siege there is going to take forever. And I'd rather go fight them some more. But of course, we are kind of relying on our allies to come along. It might have been that we were in the f in the in the wrong county, so we couldn't actually siege anything. And of course, uh, the the fatigue here, the attrition, 
the supply situation is kind of difficult, so we'll have to be careful in how we conduct ourselves in this campaign. So our troops don't just die. But we'll be preventing this siege from finishing up. I hope all our allies will join this battle. If they do, you can see it down here, the little predictor. It's looking good for us. We are outliving yet another child, our daughter. Princess Elizabeth, Nick Dorothy of Alba. She did not deserve this indeed. How did she... Died in childbirth, oh no. And she was robust, so... Okay, you can see us losing right now, quite hard, but as our allies filter in, that should be turned around, question mark. I mean, they're locked in, they're all coming. But those battles are a little bit too close for comfort, I must say. Those are a little bit too close for comfort. I don't quite like how, how hard these battles are. Okay, there's a 3,932 uh, supply limit here. So we're just going to stay here in hopes that everyone else spreads elsewhere. So we can resupply right there. Is what we absolutely need to do. We have a 5% attrition right now. That's crazy. Uh, nobody spins a yarn like Antoninus. My story is clearly better. What is this? War stories. Okay, our war stories. A fine tale. We gain 300. I don't care. He, he can be. So another little trick that we can do is right now we could lead personally some armies. Um, so we get the crusader trait. But we have to stay here for a while. So Queen Lucia pays us 180 gold. Thanks? That's that's the great thing about friends, right? Both in real life and in game. They just sometimes, out of nowhere, they come with the biggest support. Okay, our brother and best friend will definitely be our Marshal. He's not actually the best one. But having your brother and best friend and everything here. That's crazy good. Uh, let's put him on organizing the army. We don't need it for the money. But we sure need it for the uh, resupply of levies. Because, again, we're losing people quite hard. Uh, which is perfect because we can now go for organized muster rolls. Levy reinforcement rate plus 100%. Um, so that is perfect for us. For war situation. We're resieging the capital of Norway. Hopefully we get something really good out of that. A good hostage. Something similar. Um, we could have a sleepover <laughs> with this lad here who is not one of our spouses. Uh, so, um, sure thanks, but no thanks. What's happening there? They're taking our, our siege from us. So we're just taking on supplies right now. That's all we're doing, but we need to be a little bit careful there. As our army grows again, let's just split them and resupply like that. So these are not our direct enemies. These are hostiles. But the enemy is surely going to land here again at some point. Question is, is there a maximum to battle war score in a crusade? I don't even know. Okay, we need a new chancellor. And sadly, our... Powerful vassals are all kind of horrible at it. So let's put one of our husbands and knights in there. Might as well. They have usually pretty high opinion of us. But everyone is also a little bit afraid. Uh, they're a little bit intimidated by the powerful woman. Alright. We're still working on integrating the title. It's kind of the best thing we can do. To stave off potential issues with, uh, with the French. Let's move this army over there to break that little siege real quick. Everyone else just stays and resupplies for the moment. Though we can start moving them around as well. You can always see where you're going if the supply limit is going to be matched or not. So that's pretty cool. Question is, can we even catch this little weirdo army here? 
maybe. But there come the Swedes. Where they will land, nobody knows. So you want that nice little rad red sack here. That shows that you're resupplying. And you can resupply in uh, counties that you have taken. That are yours at the moment. I wish it were a green icon. Because generally icons with a green color are like a positive thing. Okay, so they are coming back again. Meaning we're going to move all over here. And fight them once more. With our full crusader army. As they see just down. So we attack them. Which puts us in the defensive situation. Because this is our stuff that they are trying to take. The only hope I have is that all of our allies are joining. Uh, let's put in our, our husband. Because he's definitely the best commander we have. Oh god, look at look at how crazy we're losing. This is insane. And that is just the quality of the armies. That's the difference here. So we are getting completely beaten to pieces. Because we're fighting against a far superior army. That's the problem here. That's how we're losing. Um... And we lost someone. Ah, yes. Our, our, uh, our husband died. And we could become rivals with the man who killed him. We'll just... He proved his valor. Let's get a new one. <laughs> uh, all we need is matrilineal and we go by uh, some of all skills. We want the best and the brightest in here. Uh, this Andalusian fellow there will be quite fine. So this, of course, is a big blow to us. I mean, again, it's, it's, it's crazy. We have 7,400 troops. They have 2,000. And they're... I mean, 4,000. And they're completely ripping us apart. That is just... That is just crazy. The difference a good army can make. Really insane. And they are not fighting their other enemies right now. They're only engaging with us, which is a little bit sad. Oh, great. And we almost ran into that army. Who is hopefully now attacking our enemy. Like, he's right there. Go attack him. <laughs> Do something sensible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they're fighting them now. So that's what we want to see. Our enemies getting at each other, not... Okay... Our enemies are not actually fighting each other. And another Emperor husband has died. Well, I, luckily we're not all that... ...married to them. As in, we don't like them so much, so our stress level doesn't spike too hard. Um, should we get our court, ch court chaplain? Why is this guy our court chaplain anyway? Let's get a better man on the job. Um, or woman. But it'll be... That's actually a... Oh, let's put him in. He's a powerful vassal who would like a job anyway. So let's put this man in. Look at him. Broad of chest, shoulder, and mind. Okay, so who will it be for us then? Alliance power doesn't really matter. We just want some of all skills and then we pick... I mean, someone with high stewardship would complement us pretty good. So let's go with this guy here. I don't quite understand how it's possible that these guys are... Are hostile to us, but they are not fighting each other. I don't comprehend what's going on here. Like, they're just moving through each other. And attacking them, I think, is not actually really advisable for us. 
Some of all skills and prowess are your two go-to filters. Makes some sense. Good evening, by the way. Ah. Our French ally and brother-in-law has just declared a holy war for Brittany. I knew Brittany would be trouble for us. And the thing is... I mean, we can call this guy in. He can try and help us. But... Apart from that... We are in a little bit of trouble. So, I had made up my mind when we took Brittany that I would be willing to give it up to France if they ever came for it. And the thing is, like, I don't think I can actually go out of a, uh, out of a holy war with white peace. So, like, I just kind of, I could white peace out of this one, potentially. But that would mean we would have to recall all our troops from, from Scandinavia. Uh, so, I mean, surrendering. Okay, what does that mean for us? How much do we lose on everything? All of your glory hound vassals lose 20 opinion of us for 10 years. Uh, our fervor is increased by 4 because we would be very unhappy about it. And we now know that Christians can and will do a holy war upon us. Now, France right now is a behemoth. But once this guy is dead... It will split apart. Problem is... Problem is killing him won't end the Holy War, I don't think. I don't think it's tied to person. But we might as well try. Okay, 5 and 20%. Nah, that's not gonna happen. In 8 years, there's a chance. <laughs> he's probably gonna die before that. I mean, he's near death. So within the year, he should be dead. Breaking apart Frankia. Doesn't mean that... Other Catholic rulers won't join him in his holy war, so. Alright, so so difficult choices ahead. Difficult choices ahead. We could go attack them here. But we're more likely to just get squashed again. Even with our allies joining. Uh, because of the superiority of their troops, really. Like, that's basically it. Um, I don't, I don't see a way around that either. Like, we're not gonna get magic number superiority all that often anymore. Um, so fighting them back now and here is good. You kind of want that, sure. But it's not gonna be decisive enough in any way, shape or form where it's like, okay, now we, now we win. Why are you upset with me? What is your problem? Who are you? Are you... Who are you and why are you upset with me? I don't know you. Why is this a pop-up for me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how that matters. By the way, did you guys see that there's a... There's someone streaming Crusader Kings uh, 3 right now who has like 3,000 viewers. <laughs> I was a little bit confused. Usually Crusader Kings 3 overall as like 160 viewers or something, and then when it set up stream, it was like 3,000 today. Can only be a single stream that just has a lot of pull. So the best we can do right now against the Scandinavians is kind of follow their armies around as they scatter. So we can fight them piecemeal. Crush the smaller elements so they completely stood down. Like, again, I was, I was completely convinced that these guys, all these hostile armies here, would be fighting our enemies. But they are not. I don't even understand how they're hostile to us. Like, what makes them hostile to us? Unless they are also fighting for the same lands. Meaning they are also fighting who we are fighting. Yeah, yeah, it's the enemy of our enemy. But our enemy of our enemy hasn't actually fought our enemy. Okay, we would lose 218 troops, but we would catch this smaller army here, which would be kind of important for us in terms of gain. 
Okay, we're not going to catch everyone. Oh god, okay, so that wasn't worthwhile. Uh, there's a bigger Swedish army here. If we push forward to that thing... Okay, this would be really good because we would be taking over the siege as well if we, if we reach them in time. So that would be really, really good for us. That win up there would be big. Okay, so he's abandoning his post, leaving the siege at the level where it is right now. So if we catch them there, which it looks like we will, and we defeat them there, which is also very likely, we're going to take over the siege progress on a, on a hard-to-win battle siege. So, um, But look at that. Like, 1,500 are completely obliterating us. I'm really impressed. Like, look at Sweden war. Uh, Sweden war. I don't know what you mean with Sweden war. There isn't even a kingdom of Sweden. What do you mean with Sweden war? Like that? Like, they're losing a bunch of stuff. I'm feeling like I should just surrender here. Like, that's not gonna go well for us. Okay, let's let's just abandon Brittany. I don't care. I'll take the hit. Enjoy. And Frankie has split apart now, so... They're not... They're not significantly smaller, but... The Empire of Italia was split out because... Confederate Petition. Do vassals disengage when you go to war with someone they are already warring with? Do vassal... It's a very good question. Let me read it again so I'm entirely sure I know exactly what you're asking. Do vassals disengage when you go to war with someone they are already warring with? No, they do not. Your vassals aren't directly involved in any of your wars unless they offer to join your war. See, we're, we're, we're taking over the siege here right now. Perfect. Perfect. Just perfect. Perfectly taken over that siege. And now we have to go south again and fight the enemy where they are. Your vassals never directly join your wars unless they actually offer it. So what you only ever bring is their levies. The people that they have to contribute to your war effort as your vassals. That's what you bring in terms of your vassals. The only reason we have vassals in this war right now is because it's a great holy war and they join as fighters for their faith. I believe this piece will be a more lucrative choice. Okay, we lose 35. Um... Greetings, my lady. Even such assortment of wares if my lady has a coin. Trust the expertise in the area, nephew. Okay, our nephew is a little bit better at this than we are. We have 40% chance for just 100 stewardship, which is great. 40% chance for losing 35, getting some. So, least amount of possible loss on this option here. So we're gonna go with our nephew's expertise, and we get a hundred and hundred stewardship. Very good. Okay, so we're getting we're getting the jump on the enemy here. We're fighting. Oh, all right. Monthly piety from all building. Okay, you watched it happen a few times when you were taking the remains of the English thrones. You saw one was taking a patch of Alba, so I took the patch next to it. And I won. It reset the vassal siege. Okay, maybe I misunderstood the question. Um. I feel like I misunderstood your question. Also, I'm not sure if I want to engage the enemy there. Like, we kind of have to, but... Okay, he's fleeing the battle. So we're gonna catch only pieces of his army, which is good. Which is good. Um, can you can you ask the question again? Uh, phrase it a little bit different? I think I'm having trouble understanding exactly what you mean. Okay, and again, we're gonna split our troops here. Make sure they get to resupply. 
We have definitely caused some damage now. Oh, great. Now they can just take it back with that. That is mean. 255 is all they need. Okay, but I think one of our allies is going there. How is there a Northman army conquest going on now? Okay, we're gonna call our ally in here. He needs to take care of that. We won't be able to go there. Like, relying fully on our ally to do this. Let me show you the error anyways. Let's go with this. 78% chance he stops being a superstitious fool. And we did persuade him indeed. Um... Okay, we need to resupply. Sadly, our ally turned around. Good. Good job, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Okay, their capital shifted. Doesn't really matter. We'll just go siege this stuff down now. Doesn't matter if it's on... Need, need to be their capital. We'll just go take it. Okay, we have a point here. Centralization, development, growth, and realm capital plus 0 0.30 per month. That's crazy. That's crazy good. So what part of my land is the Northman army coming for? Okay, when you declared county conquest to the county next to where Vassal had sieged, I took the county and the Vassal had the siege undone. The stripes disappeared. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you can overwrite. You can... I, I'm calling it overwriting. Uh, you can definitely overwrite a existing siege by someone who is a vassal but not part of your war. Like, if, if they're not actually part of your war on your side, then uh, you can lift the siege that was put there by someone else and fight there again. Okay, we're going to raise a few troops here just to help our ally find his way to help us. Oh, I totally messed with, the, with their war. I feel bad now. <laughs> oh, well, it happens. No, you weren't. You weren't really helping them, but that's okay. We gained the Mace of Alba artifact. Some prestige, some dynasty opinion, okay. Uh, sure, thank you. We'll keep it close. Also, let's um, work on this here. So, regalia. Okay, we have we have the Irish regalia. And we have the Carvolis regalia. But prestige per night, seduce scheme power. I think this is better. I think this is better. Okay, but we did get a few other things just now. We got this lavender jade pendant, some piety. But I like the learning on these things here. That's actually pretty darn strong. So I don't think we're going to be using this. So that's a little bit more money in our coffers. Speaking of money in our coffers, we actually should start spending some of that again. Uh, and the Mace of Alba. I mean... I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also not great. So... Thank you for the money donation, I take it. I mean, the way... Uh, sorry, uh, you said look at Norway. Uh, okay, there. There you go. That's your look at Norway. Do relics just upgrade with time use? No, they do not. A relic is, a, is exactly as it is forever until it is destroyed. You cannot improve them either. Okay, so there's our, our enemy on this side of the world. Now, the problem is, of course... My ally hasn't actually shown up yet, but they're they're coming, and they bring a really good army. Well, uh, oh no, they're going to the wrong army. Oh no 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 no! Look at their trajectory. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Oh great! So we have to go back. We have to abandon our uh, our holy war to fight these fools, because the beacon of the hundred of the five hundred somethings wasn't enough to bring our ally to the right spot. 
Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Very good. Let's bring them closer to the coast, maybe. Man, that was so easy. So much easier in Crusader Kings uh, 2. You could direct your allies and be like, hey, go there, go this, do that. Attack the enemy, help siege. And now I have to do completely insane things to get this show on the road here. Okay, let's let's go. I don't I don't even need to swim there, I don't think. Like this should be fine. But now they're already on the ships, you know. Might as well bring them home for a for a little brawl here. Oh great, they turn around. That's good stuff. Ah, lost another son, did we? Well, medieval life is full of dangers. Okay, and we're disembarking and we really needn't to because we're totally winning this without all of our troops. <laughs> oh god, I hate these invasion things. Like, they're really, really bad for business. <laughs> They're uh, just really, really bad all run. I hate them so much. You don't get anything from defeating this. You get nothing. You don't get prestige. You don't get lands. You don't get gold. You get literally nothing. And I hate it so much. It's, it's literally just here. Here is your waste of time. Enjoy. Enjoy your waste of time. That's what this is. And it occurs constantly as well. Luckily, we have a lot of money, so I don't care about the embarking, disembarking all the time. But let's spend some money at home to make some money. Tower of London. Culture doesn't have the battlements. Okay, sure. We don't have those. I agree. Let's upgrade our little bishopric here, which is also ours. And we're going to upgrade this place here as well. Let's just really get... Get our money working for us. And Queen Lucia is coming, bringing us some money in. Well, amazing stuff right there. And we lost another husband. Yesterday you learned that peasants uprising are forgetting a semi-decent commander as fodder. They're not even fodder. I can't even tell you how many peasant leaders in my uh, playthroughs have been the, the absolute best commanders I ever had. Like, it's just, it happens a whole lot. A whole, whole, whole lot. Oh, are you actually good at this? No, you're not. You just want the job. Let's put her in. She's proper capable. Okay, so we don't see the enemy anymore because they're in places. And we have to travel back. And we don't even get to attack anything cool anytime soon. Honestly, let's land here. I hadn't realized how much I needed this. Comfort of a friend, very good. To be fair, to be fair, they did learn. They did lead your own people against you almost successfully. <laughs> almost, yeah. Nah, but this is one of the best sources for commanders, literally. Okay, so having troops on ship is very, very expensive. It goes down quickly once they are disembarked and all, but just shipping them through the world costs a lot of money. How's our supply situation? Not great. But now that we're off the ship, we're earning money again. So question is, will we be able to split our army enough to retake supplies here? Not really. But I need to be careful with doing that, because if I move too much, all these are going to abandon their sieges. Which will annoy the absolute hell out of me. Because we need some victories here. So we're going to split this apart, send some over there. And then we're going to split this further, send half the- half, I said half. Oh my lord, half, half, half. So, mm. nope, caused too much movement. Nope, couldn't convince them to stay where they are. Nope, they follow the big chunk. They don't care. 
absolutely no sense for strategy. Okay, okay, One Piece is staying. Very good. Now let's watch us getting completely destroyed. Why are you dying here so hard? There is supplies for you. Take them. Okay, we have to we have to join this immediately. Because they are getting completely ripped apart there. I don't know why the prediction is that we're going to win that one. Because right now we are getting beaten into a pulp. And I'm just throwing more meat into the meat grinder. <laughs> Look at this. Completely insane of me to throw more troops in the, into it. I don't quite understand how they're so strong. I don't really quite understand it. They have... They have less... Everything, basically. Like, they, their troops are weaker because they're just disembarking. We have the battle advantage all the time. We have the better commanders here. I don't quite know how they're constantly destroying our troops so hard. I don't really understand it. Oh, God. Our brother died. Everyone keeps dying around us. Let's go with I will never forget this day. There's a chance to just lose a little bit of stress. They must have watched the exploit videos on stack modifiers. <laughs> Uh, it's true. Okay, we're already all these bad traits, so let's uh, go for some flagellation, self-flagellation. Where we will be wounded, but we were immediately successfully treated. So, this was the least successful thing ever, because we got two defeats out of the same battle. Because in between one defeat and the next defeat, there was a full moment of no fighting. So we threw two armies at the same thing and both died to the same thing. That was the least effective attack ever. Ever. <laughs> um, I've heard rumors of a lost tome rediscovered. Uh, could go for gold or we could get a very good book artifact. I mean, we already spent the gold that we need to spend, so... Okay, this is not a very good book art artifact. I'm sorry. Good evening, Zerheem. Thank you for joining. Glad you can make it. Uh, though we are not doing very well, we are being completely obliterated by the Scandinavians over there. And I don't understand why, even. Okay, so what is this? Uh, development growth is fine. Stewardship lifestyle experience is pretty good. So let's just kick this book out. And put this book in. Which, of course, overwrote the other one. Ah, there we go. Yeah. I mean, even looking at the army composition or anything, I, like, I don't... I don't necessarily see anything that makes me worry. It's mainly levies. It's really mainly levies. They're not even hard countering us anywhere and anything. No clue what's going on with these battles. Their commanders aren't super good. It's just... Poof. Second hand glamour. Why those do look enticing. I don't care. We don't need foreign nonsense in my court. Who cares what people wear? Let's start with that. And maybe let's hold court. Let's really bring it home. You can see, <laughs> you can see my streams have taken their first bankruptcy victim. Yes, yes, they have. But the crowns keep flowing for those that keep watching. So, let's see. Um, but I'm sure we'll be dying. One of our sons, our heir and son, becomes a murderer. We could put Dorothy as our designated heir instead. GRW I don't know. The hydrate. Well, your demands will be met. I will not have an uprising within my court, so hydration shall happen now. Thank you so much. Very sweet takes after his mother. This is the last storm. 
my experience, Dorothy is equally as insufferable. Sadly, we can't actually look at Dorothy. Or can we? Oh, there she is. Okay. I think we'll make her our designated heir. I mean, she's a 23-year-old giantess. An Amazonian. Like, look at her prowess. Look at that. <laughs> but she's horrible at everything else. I mean, he's pretty decent, but he's kind of old. I don't know. What shall we do? What do you think? Do we put in Dorothy or do we approve of his murdering ways? I love this here. But I'm sure he will deny having done this. A wolfish grin appears across Christopher's face. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely did. He's not even... He's not even anything like contrite at all. He doesn't care. All courtiers and guests lose 10 opinion of us because we're cruel. Huh. Christopher gains the trade disinherited and loses 75 opinion of us. Full on admittance. Is I mean, yes. You need that for proper contrition. It can't be... Forgiven for your sins if you don't admit to having sinned them, right? So I don't know, but we do get the option to put another heir in. Every courtly vassal loses 20 penny for 10 years. I don't know. First step, as I say, I agree. It was very sweet. He takes after his mother. We're not even all that murderous. <laughs> Feast under your name. Um, my liege, the people in our realm need an occasional joy. Is for the good. Okay, so we we have to do a um, we have to do a feast. We get the money, but we have to do a feast, so we will. And what do you want? Rightful lands. Aren't my legal rights over the Earldom of Hampshire are well attested? Those tracts have long been considered integral part of my Duchy of Wessex. Will you support my claim and have your nephew Earl Gregory relinquish? This injustice ends now. Such matters are traditionally settled by might. You must win it by the sword. I do not interfere in such things. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Squabbles. Okay, let's let's plan a feast because we are totally in a position where we should have a party. We didn't just get completely and utterly obliterated. Dare I say, embarrassed by our enemy. No, no. We should totally have a feast. We deserve it. <laughs> let's do it. Oh god, we're losing people left and right in this war. Lucky we have so many husbands, eh? It's <laughs> just a steady supply of good good men that we can throw at our council just because we have three husbands. No, four, actually. Um, okay, we can build something else here. Husband 394, step forward. It's basically the Clone Wars, just in medieval uh, Alba. Right, now what? Uh, feast, feast, feast. Let's do a feast. Feast, 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 feast. And all we need is to have the feast cost less than 250 gold. And then we get, get decent out of it. Okay, so who shall be our guest of honor? This guy here, who hates us. And our goal will be to befriend the lad. And let's start the feast. We have a lovely time ahead of us. So how do we deal with this? What is their army comprised of? That's a lot of Bondi I see here. So, what is this? Spearmen. So, 
So what do we need against Spearman? Against Spearman, I think we need heavy infantry, no? Yeah. So we'll increase the size of these a bunch. To have a little bit of a better counter. Okay, now we need to stop because money. <laughs> All the kids fight. You want the Clone Wars? Get feckin' beautiful and lustful. <laughs> Those are more the sapling wars. It's just all these little saplings are getting at it. Okay, look, there is a little rebellion thing going on for one of our vassals. I'm just trying to take on supplies and maybe our, our people will be... Uh, we're busy at our feast. Everyone's kind of busy at feasts. So they're attacking back their land. Well done. Are they no longer in different wars? They're defining and defending. They are having a little bit of rebellion, but that's not going to be much of an issue to them. I do want to go further south, but I want to wait for their siege to be done. We need more land in our name. Okay, someone is trying to kill us. Uh, we were... Alerted to it, so now we're more vigilant for five years. Less chance of us actually dying to it. So how are you guys' campaigns, if you're even playing? Or if you're not playing, why aren't you playing it? Are you still not convinced that this is the best game ever made and ever to be made? Let's ransom this lad here. Okay, they will not accept our ransom. Okay, fine. Okay, fine then. Let's see, should we bring in mercenaries? I wonder. Ooh, dynasty thing. Okay, so we're done with blood. And since this is more of a series uh, playing as Alba, we're going for a little bit of a, this is a good path, this will help you more. Um, what would be the next thing? I think warfare, honestly. Because what you get out of this is kind of crazy. Warfare is something you do a lot. And having all these is really, 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 really good. Uh, like, Kaza's belly cost going down, retreat losses going down, pursuit efficiency going up. I'll, I'll, this alone, knight effectiveness plus 15%. Oh, knights are, knights are crazy good. So, I think that's what we're going to go for. Um, of course, there's more things that are also really quite good. Glory, for example, can help, but... Um, I mean, you get the number of knights up, which is also really quite good. Um, but I think we're going to go for House of Warriors. We have been fighting a whole long time now. So let's get uh, the prowess extra and the extra everything else. Ooh, our megalithic mausoleum was constructed over here. And the feast starts. What can we upgrade here? Oh no, that's the point for gore. Should we do this? Like, it's very, very expensive. And it doesn't bring all that much gold. But the development growth boost is possibly worth it? I don't know. Okay, then our troops are fully supplied again. How are we doing on the... On this here. They're coming back in. Oh, look at that. A bot. Banned. Goodbye. Um, curse this mess. Spilled stew. Giving us a little bit of a health boost. At the cost of some prestige. Okay, that's fine. Let's push these up fully. We do have the money. And we do need heavy infantry to fight these heathens out here. Okay, let's let's take this option. It's all good. He becomes our friend. We get closer to a friendship, all that. Can tribal max out the court sliders? What are the court sliders? You mean the court grandeur stuff? 
I think they can. Okay, we can throw someone out here to cool off. Let's do it. And I don't want to move my troops until the siege is done. Then we can move again. And now a toast to our highly esteemed guest, Antoninus. Yeah, how much you're spending on court? I'm more than I have the gold to throw at it. Uh, I think, yeah. I don't think there is a there's a limit, but I don't quite know. I don't know what you would really realistically gain from it, honestly. I don't know if, if it's super sensible to do that. Okay, back to the offensive we go. And of course we want to send the army that has actually Onagers in it. Opening every tab except the one I'm looking for. Prime me. So they have a lot of pike, we have a lot of pike. I think we need to replace some of the pike with something else. I don't know though. The next feast will be even better. Well done us. Everyone loved it. They had a good time. So our heavy infantry is almost up by 400 soldiers. As opposed to last time we fought the enemies here. Stewardship lifestyle. Perk. Uh, no. Yeah, there it is. And we need a new spy master, mistress, whatever the heck. Oh, look at that. 27. Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. And they like us, kind of, sort of. Not fully, but enough. Popular figurehead, popular opinion, so less potential for peasant risings. Always nice to have. What do we have in terms of uh, mercenaries? There's something interesting here. And there's no heavy infantry we can get for cheap. Are they doing some war stuff elsewhere again? Oh, look at that. They're actually not doing so great with their enemies. I don't care. I bet I can persuade to accept, accept the charges. 85% chance her feudal taxes are increased to us. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm willing to spend a little bit of potential stress there. What do you want to be? Oh, armor and competent at craft. I think we're going to spend that. We don't have the greatest armor at the moment. And these are usually fairly cheap. Cheap-ish ways to get at stuff. And we convinced her. Didn't lose a single bit of stress there. Very good. Now our enemy is coming back to retake what we take. So let us move out and go face them. And potentially get absolutely completely slaughtered again. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. He's commanding another army. I don't accept this. Oh. A motto for the ages. When a spirited eyes meet mine, she breaks out into a huge smile and raves at me. My lady, what an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think about adding your family's motto to your commission? That sounds great. I want the renown. Give me all the renown I can get. Question is, will we be able to win against these? Because, like, look at that. It's... It's telling us we should... But I don't think we will, is the problem. Okay, they're running, so we're just gonna turn around then. We're not gonna catch them, might as well continue our campaign. 
and maybe catch them elsewhere. Okay, we are getting some uh, money being put towards our stuff here. That's great. How much you are spending on court? I'm, uh, I wish there was a way of me knowing or remembering what I already read in chat. Okay, so the enemy is landing here again. Maybe we will win, maybe we won't. Are they landing split? That's good. Some of them are on our lands. So let's see if our gathering of the heavy infantry will actually have made a difference. Ideally it has. Ideally we will not be completely slaughtered anymore. See, our heavy infantry, our armored footmen are absolutely countering the heck out of them. Out of their silly little people there. And we're losing yet another husband. Was it our main husband? Nah, just a side husband. <laughs> we don't mind the side husband so much. But I think we really need to go for uh, military acumen and prowess. Like, we're losing knights mostly, so... Let's get someone who's a decent knight. And a decent commander. Ah, oh, he's great. He's Gaelic, but he's great. Let's get him. Okay, we're winning. Soundly. Soundly. No weird slaughter of our people anymore. And can I please move my troops? Please? Thank you. So that was a good victory. I'll stay by your side, my dear friend, who is dying. Yeah, look at that. That looks much better now. A torque fit for my serene Conon. No. The gift of my company is bright enough. Listen. Listen here, you fools. I'm not... I'm not throwing money at these men. They're with the Empress of Alba. That must be enough. Okay, what do we want? Ah, it's another cheating around. I don't care. He would never disrespect me like that. Okay, we need a new Stuart. And it will be our sister, Vassal and Commander. Look at our perfect little high equality realm. And we're finally reliably winning against our enemy. That's uh, that's lovely. That's uh, that's very refreshing. Yes, yes, please, Countess, come in. I do accept your generous gifts, Countess Tarub. Generous indeed. And I watched them sail around trying to find our weak spots. Hint! We don't have any weak spots. We're entirely impervious. He said after being completely and utterly destroyed by fools. Ah, sure. Here, have some more money. I just got it from a, from a countess anyway. Might as well give it to you to improve our armor. How long has this been going on, by the way? Uh, eight years. Okay, now. How many Frankish rulers have died since? I think that's still the same dude. But they're literally not diminished at all. Like, that's kind of silly. Despite losing such a large chunk of their realm, doesn't matter to them. I like how dutifully they're standing next to us, but I wish they would kind of spread out to make sure that they can actually resupply, you know? But that's a little bit difficult to achieve here. So we're going to have to spread out a whole lot. Oh no, oh god, is everything moving again? Ah, oh, I hate it when they do that. Like, you have to double and triple click always to get just the selection you wanted. 
Okay, these are my own Aga troops, so we can just send them there. And this is going completely wrong as well. I only wanted one part there, not every part. Schema discovered, I don't care. Could you please spread out, my dear ally? Don't we have a man that is a siege man? I, I, I believe I married someone who's capable of that. There we go. Oh no, I don't like that. That's a lot of troops there. So the problem and why I don't want them to die here is because that troops that are starving, surprisingly, tend to, um, to perform worse. Can you imagine? An army marches on its stomach. And they will stop marching if their stomach be empty and crawling. So right now enemy is kind of doing that there, okay? Like, I'm not gonna abandon my siege which is going fairly well right there. To stop him. Like, this is not good. We're starving hard. But we need supplies taken on for our troops to move again. Mm. I mean, we could start moving that way. Would bring our allies too. And as we move through these lands here, we're gonna take on some supplies again. Oh, very good. Masterful lamellar armor. Night effectiveness plus 9%. That's big. That is actually really not to be frowned upon at all. Let's put it on immediately. Our lustrous lamellar armor. Remember the death of Krundmel is our family motto and is inscribed on there. And now the old Russian scale armor has served its purpose and can go. It is free. Free from service to the crown. So we need to get these guys out of there quickly as well because they're starving hard. So once our troops are settled over there, we're gonna go attack north some more. And try and take on our enemy where they stand. Chances are, though, we're going to get a little bit hurt doing that. So let's go. <laughs> See if we get hurt or not. Make sure our best commander is on the job, and he for sure is. Our culture has discovered Casa Spelli. Excuse me? That's not what we're working on, is it? We're working on mangonels. Ah, well... Uh, the influencing happens in the in the tribal age still. So we'll get barracks in a moment and then they will go for city planning. And after that only then will we get inspirations or other influences happening in the early medieval era. Now let's see how we fare. Okay, so they're moving all their troops south to fight, but the predictor hasn't really changed up yet. But I do fear that we're actually not winning. We are getting some re reinforcements for sure, but that is already again looking bad for us, which I don't appreciate. <laughs> I would these I would prefer these looking bad or good for us from the outset and not relying on our allies to show up. It's nice that we are winning now, finally, you know, but this is still at a very high cost. Look at this. We'll check out the after action report on this one because this is really bad. So how many people did we lose? Yeah, we lost more than them. More of our men died than theirs. So their knights slew 1,333 and our knights slew 307. Okay, but that must be it. That must be the difference. The extreme number of knights. That must be what is what is the absolute difference between our armies here. 
That's where the where the vast gap between us killing them and they slaughtering us comes from. Cannot be any other way. Okay, we gotta go north because some of their army is fleeing that way. And we're killing a smaller army on the way, so that's nice. And it was one of their armies too. We do want to siege some more. Let's see, the culture in Essex changes to Irish. Yeah. Let's try that. The commoners refuse to be civilized. How dare they? Okay, what do we get? Divided attention, domain limit plus two. Doesn't really help us much. I don't care too much. So, domain limit plus two. Why don't I, why don't I care? Because the chances of your next ruler having the same thing is super slim. And then, even if you hold it for a while, on succession, you have to give it up again. So, why would I care to have domains that I can't hold through succession? Like, it's just... Doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. What do you want to make? Ah, adventure. I don't care. Look at this. How is the fort level too high? What fort level is this? Let's have a quick gander here. So fort level is... Okay, six is pretty high. Simple earthworks. How is simple or what, what is our fort level at home? Five. That is embarrassing. Should we upgrade this? Arms at men at arms maintenance goes down more. But it's a lot of money and it's kind of half of what we have. So I'd rather keep what we have for more battles. And there they go, with 450 soldiers taking our stuff. And our allies are completely starving everywhere. <laughs> I don't think they're even finding spots where they can take on supplies again. What court event? Royal laps. Fuck, we gives me a... Losing 18 court grand. No, 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 we're gonna take the stress. My apologies, you were saying? I don't care. Stress can be a dangerous thing to take, but we're kind of fine. The upgrades are the thing that push feudal above tribal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tribal early is extremely strong because they just have the manpower that you will not have for a really, 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 really long time. So they are beating you on that. Eight times out of ten. But later, feudalism is just going to destroy them because they cannot get the new the newest and shiniest tech to bring to field how are we starving we went here with 70 supply oh okay well it's a it's a difficult force sure and we haven't even okay now we have broken so they have 70 7 750 defenders i don't really want to attack these walls i accept your gifts thank you very much but I also don't want to abandon it. But if we attack these walls, we're going to lose. Se or we're going to lose a lot of people. Like, we're not necessarily losing the battle, but we're definitely going to lose so, so hard. So, so many troops that it's for sure more than the 6% we're losing here. But what we could do is we could click on the Station Besiegers one. And then we can take everyone else and move them elsewhere. So they don't also starve there. Problem is, with a lot of starving happening, there's a good chance that your troops are going to starve down to the point where they can't siege this anymore. Um, so that is something to keep in mind when stationing besiegers, as I did just now. So do keep the other troops close-ish, so they can be sent back to reinforce Okay, very good. So we've taken all this. And now we can go back down to our lands. And we're overwhelmed by stress. Let's uh, take care of that because we have so many vices anyway. We'll hit ourselves with some whips. 
We're gonna go seclude ourselves, cost us some prestige, but it's fine. And the rest we're just gonna take as it is. And we're no longer overwhelmed by stress. I personally am still, because honestly, they are now cleaning up what we just took. So this is a constant back and forth in this war, which I'm not a big fan of. And we're constantly kind of circling around here because it's the only place where we can take on supplies again. Replenish our troops. And he just kind of sails around us all the time. I don't even know how they're doing that. They, they all need to be in deep debt. Actually, none of them are. Well, good stuff. Wait, none of you are in debt? How are you guys keeping up with this? It's crazy. We have a very formidable enemy here. For sure. Like, Scandinavia has put up a, a, a heck of a fight. And they're still doing it. Like, don't get me wrong. We're not even done yet. What did you just call my marshal? Are you strumpet? So they're just rolling up the field on this side. So it's good for us to take up uh, this direction. So after we potentially, hopefully, beat them here again, we can take that stuff while they try and roll this back up and back and forth and back and forth. And, you know, eventually, hopefully, we kind of win this one. Another thing we can do to help us more is just increase the size of what we have. And I think uh, having more horse would be pretty good. They have a lot of pike, so... Uh, let's get the horses a few more and a few more pike as well. And we may want to make sure... Are you kidding me? This is, I think, the... We're easily in the 10 now. The 10th Northman army conquest of the Duchy of Man. Are you completely, utterly joking? So we're going to call in our ally... Who will again likely not go where he need where he's actually needed. So good stuff on that. Okay, this guy doesn't matter in the war score. Yeah. So this guy doesn't matter for the war score. Might as well take the gold. None of these matter for the war score. We just can go and ransom them all back. So we're going to bring in together our troops, and we're going to attack again. At least their troops are, troops are starving as well, so that's kind of nice, you know? There's that. It's not just our troops constantly starving. Okay, we're just going to follow them and take that thing back. We have a little bit of health, a little bit of food. A stretch! Alrighty. I should, oh god. And there are the Northmen coming to conquer our lands. We're gonna just take this and then we're gonna swim back. Maybe our Lutheranian allies will take... No. 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 They are. No. They have no idea what they're doing. They're certainly not going where I need them. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping. Uh, so Isle of Man. Oh god, that's bad. We have to land into them. But it's okay. Small health boost from the stretching. Aye, that's true. Very good. Thank you so much. I will also drink a, drink a bit. Get that extra health boost going. Someone called these uh, rede redemptions that you can do for uh, me to stretch or drink or something. Uh, Tamagotchi... Tamagotchi things, or... Yeah, basically something like that. Okay, at least our crusade allies are staying here fighting that. Though, I'm a little bit worried because that might mean that they get run over by the enemy's forces. But we'll see how it plays out. Us, we have to go home, we have to fight the fools. Uh, let's speed this up because... Oh, and we're getting beaten. Oh, lovely. We were completely destroyed. Oh, good god. We gain a beast hound or a scent hound. Um, I think a beast hound would be good. A scent hound, I mean. 
so we were actually defeated by them because landing is 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 crazy bad. It's crazy dangerous. You are at such a disadvantage there. So instead of fighting them on their terms, we're going to fight them on our terms again. This time our ally is here. So hopefully that's resolved. Again, I hate these so much because you literally do not get anything out of them ever. All you get is stress. So now the question is, where do we go from here? I feel like attacking like the, the capital, but we can't. Because to fight in there, we would have to take all these fortresses before. Like, that's a pretty decent spot to have your capital. I don't want to land on them directly either. So... I would love to stay here to take on some supplies. But you can bet that our allies will just kind of hop on top of us and prevent us from taking on supplies. Yep. Everyone's just kind of standing right on top of each other. Okay, let's split up a little bit. Just take on supplies. We're speeding them here because... Literally just taking on supplies. And we become Architect. Which gives us... Stewardship, construction time, construction cost, all pretty good. So where are we at? Okay, we, we have enough supplies to make the journey back over the sea. Uh, do we get a cattle herd for Middlesex? Or a large cattle herd? Yeah, let's try for a large cattle herd. Nope, breeding fails, we get nothing. So they have 9,200 tr Can we land somewhere, please, sensibly? One of our husbands has died. So they actually have a lot of troops all of a sudden. And us attacking like that will lead to... I, mean, I don't want to fight them in the mountains. I don't think that's sensible to do. We're just going to fight that and fight them here. Okay, we're going to speed this war up a little because I'm really annoyed. Like, this needs to end. This needs to stop. What? <sighs> okay, so this is why you never speed up the game. This is why you never, ever speed up the game. Ever. Ever. I didn't see a, a dangerous faction. So now we have a rebellion at our hands. Which, funnily enough, is, oh, they're weaker than you. It doesn't matter. I'm in this war that doesn't end over here. It literally doesn't end. We cannot enforce our demands ever. And now we need to go back home and fight there. Oh, good stuff. It'll be fine though. We will we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. We can we can manage. He will join me. Something bad happens. Nothing bad happens. Ugh. A dog has no place as in a council meeting. Our dog will join in the council meeting. What what are you even saying? Okay, so our troops are starving, and we now need to bring them back home to fight the rebels. Sound fun? Sound fun to me. Where is Ireland's capital? Over there. Ugh. Oh, man. Let's just land here and take this thing. The problem is we can't win a decisive victory in Scandinavia, so we will be forever locked in this war, I think. Like, this will be just a forever war. We bit off more than we can chew. Let's have a little court meeting. What do you people want? The Dancing Plague. Sounds delightful. Now let's bring on the leeches, let's try and help these folks. Uh, let's have a look at it right now. Let's read a book or something. I don't care. 
I need to go back to my war. Thank you. Um, malice is not a crime. Get out of my court. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, our troops are starving. The collector will lead the investigation. I must... I shall travel to the village personally. Let's do that. We might get a stewardship point. So the problem with our army here is that it's not down there, but our ally might be winning that. We definitely need to... F okay, we're gonna detach our troops and bring everyone else there so they don't starve. Will our ally win this one? I think it, they are. Okay, a missing village. Sephara, the baron's tax collector, has not been entirely honest. Round up the villagers, they will pie again. No, 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 let's speak to the tax collector. These guys need to take on supplies again. We imprison him. Oh, please, I will do anything to earn your forgiveness. Um, What do I want to hook on him? Anything at all? How about counting worms? Is he any good as a knight? No. He can die. It's fine. <laughs> the existence of the murder us plot has been exposed. Which is good. That makes us a little bit safer against it. I'm almost willing to white piece out of this war that I can absolutely win. Just to get it done with. Okay. Um, our steward is done. Let's... Oh, very good. A strong vassal is actually good at what they want. Uh, claim throne scheme against our liege. Doesn't matter. Our liege is god alone. And I don't think we are allowed to claim... Well, we actually did claim his throne. So, that's kind of nice. Um, okay, sure. Let's get that marriage on the way for our dear daughter. I can't bring in our ally... To fight in the crusade though. So that en enemy army is being cut off by our ally. Very good. And our armies are resupplying except for our siege army which is kind of dying. So we, we luckily we have a lot of power in the um in the Norwegian war, in the Scandinavian war, because we, we won a lot of war score through battles. So unless our allies are squandering it, which I'm hopefully quite certain that they're not doing that, uh, we should be fine if we don't fi fight over in Scandinavia for a while. Though, of course, they're going to take everything that is theirs, and they're also going to take everything that's ours. So thank you guys for sitting on top of me where I'm trying to supply my army. Can you stop? Darn. Okay, we're losing some sieges here. Not great surprises. Now the question is... How do we get here? By ship. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna lose some troops just from uh, running through enemy forts. Oh, actually, our enemy is coming there. Let's go meet them. Might as well fight them. Again, I'm, I'm willing to white piece out of this one just to get it done. Would be better if we didn't. But... You know, we'll see. We'll have to see. Yes, please, my dear duke. Thank you so much for coming to my court. So fighting here is a bit of a problem for us. Because we're having to cross bridges and stuff. But they split their army kind of foolishly. Oh, they actually didn't. What's going on over there? I don't know. They're fighting someone. Not us. Now they're fighting us. Uh, no, go away. I don't want lovers. Okay. Alright. So we only really need to take down 
the Brit uh, the Irish capital once. And then we're pr pretty much done, I hope. And we got a new stewardship perk, but there is another thing coming. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for large levies. Extra levy contribution from our vassals. And we're just going to try and take the capital of Ireland. Or the leaders in this rebellion. What is this other thing here? What What is this? Can send an ultimatum in 29 months. Wait. This guy... Okay, it's an act of tyranny and we become Kinslayer. Um, let's move him to the dungeon. Our dear little boy. Being put on the throne instead of us. Fools. Do we have a siege commander? Yes, please. Take over. Why is this siege blocked? Ah, because they... Huh? What's happening right now? We no what? We no longer at war with Ireland. Ah, oh, good grief. Okay, we went the wrong way basically because Ireland somehow dropped out of this, and now we're only fighting these guys anymore. And yeah, as I said, Scandinavia is is fully taking everything here now. Pretty well, not fully, but. Pretty muchly. So we're just going to land here. Take that thing. He's taking back everything up there. <laughs> oh boy. God almighty. None of these are... Like, I can't really do anything about them, I think. Challenge him to an artifact. I don't care. Okay, maybe we can maybe we can help it with one of these put on the council. This guy can be our spy master. I don't, I don't care, especially since our spy master is actually kind of horrible. And um, oh, okay, she put herself in there, so we can't kick her out. We 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 would need to kill her to get her out of the council. That's lovely. So we're losing all our progress over in uh, Scandinavia. That's great. I don't want a hunting raptor. Go away. I have different problems. Can't you tell? Can't you see? Our allies are hunting our enemies. Very good. Uh, let's go fight them because I think that is the only army left in this rebellion. Or the only large army left anyway. And they're running away. Where are they going? Come on. There we go. Caught them out. So that's done. That's done. Can I execute him now? No, it's still tyranny. Ah, well. Fine, he's in our dungeon. So... What can I do with you? Negotiate an alliance? <laughs> he will accept. Does that kick him out? Does that end the faction? No. Can I negotiate some more alliances here, maybe? No, I cannot. So what do I do with you guys? Four months. I mean, in four months... Okay, so what we're going to do with them is we're just going to go stand on top of their capital here. That's what we're going to do. Oh, okay. They're now too weak to send an ultimatum. Alright. Very good. Then we shall go back and attack here. Retake our own lands. I should say. Oh, we're gonna land somewhere where they're not gonna immediately jump us. How about that? And we have very, very low supplies. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But we're already on the ships, so... You know. Okay, they're leaving to somewhere. Harbi's exaltation, truly blessed soul. King Yonan has become a true example of Harbi's kindness. 
Good stuff. Okay, they're all sitting around there. Will they attack us? Uh, this siege is taking forever. Um, let's raise all our troops, make sure that everyone is actually in the war, that can and should be in the war. Take them superior to the... yes. Let's try again. Nope. People do not want to be Irish. Why? It's fun. Don't they see how we are fighting the Scandinavian menace? Very extremely successfully? Can they not see? Okay, now, uh, how do we split these guys so they don't die? Mm. And that army... Okay, now we just wait until our troops are well fed again. And then we just go attack once more and hope for the best. Like we do have to take for the, we have to go for the dotted lines territory. And the thing is going up here is kind of horrible because the supply limit is so low everywhere. Um, join as an attacker, so you don't need me. If they want me to come as an attacker, they likely don't need us, so I don't feel too bad for not coming. But we absolutely cannot afford to go there. Like, pff. You see us losing this war still. I'm not making this up. Uh, let's give her a good wrong religion name, but I don't care right now to figure this out. A secret exposed. I don't, I don't care. Okay, where is our siege commander? There. And uh, let's put this guy here. So we are f supplied enough. Question is, will they all come now? I do not care. I will assume he's not cheating. How about that? How about a little bit of trust? Okay, they're all walking away. A new perk can be unlocked. Very good. Soon forgiven monthly tyranny minus... <laughs> I mean... Let's see, your vassals are less likely to join independence factions. That's pretty good, but that's not what we're facing. Or we'll just go this way, in case we do need to execute our son and heir. Uh, let's be patient with our dog. Oh, God! <laughs> <sighs> okay. I am loath to do this, but they have vastly more troops than us. We have no way of winning this ever. What we need now is to win against this. This crusade. And the only real way of doing that... The only real way of... Okay, that's the battle for of our ally. Um, the only real way for us to do this right now... 
is to directly attack the papacy. Like, if you're ever at the receiving end of a crusade from Christians, just immediately attack the papacy. Like, ignore everything else, it doesn't matter. You do one thing, you put all your troops on a ship. Seven months. Oh god, we're so screwed. So this uh, will launch in 15 months. So what we'll do is we just plop our army right here. We'll arrive in nine months. That's the only thing you can do. You're not gonna win against the Crusade. Generally speaking. Like, if Frankia joins, we're already done. Uh, Lothringia might even join, honestly, because they are also Catholic, so... They might not be able to because they're currently, you know, allied to us in a different war, but... Yeah, that's my best advice to you. That's the very best advice I can give you. If you're ever targeted by the Christians, just directly attack the papacy. The Holy See, because if you take down the Pope, that crusade is done. Let's see, do we have any interesting... Not really, I mean 50 gold. How are we losing so much money? It's because our troops are on ships, but that is really bad for us. Potential alliance negotiations, huh? Not inside our realm. Will not accept. Will not accept. Will not accept. Will not accept. Alright. I see how it is. I just ransomed our son and heir. Kind of an accident. And we are becoming befuddled in old age. Well, we tried for a great crusade and we lost. I don't think uh, it's something we're going to do anytime again soon. For the simple reason... What's really great here is that the supply limit is so high. So we can leave our troops here as long as we can afford them, basically. Which isn't very long, sadly, because... Oh, it's pretty long. So they're gonna take on supplies in a moment. Or they should. Hello? Okay, these are lands of our allies, I think. So we could take supplies there. Showing the queen, thank you. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, we're taking supplies on here. That's fair enough. Uh, we can just stay here in the lands of our ally, which is a very um, fortuitous event that our ally is sitting right next to us and that they kind of conquered a lot of Italy there somehow. Um, okay, exotic arms. But we have good weapons already. I can't spend this. We have to take the stress. And we'll just hurt ourselves to reduce the stress again. And a strong faction is back up. In 30 months. Okay, it's not not too dangerous. Let's start swaying one of these. Let's try and build some build some trust here in our ramp. There it goes. Okay, immediately slow down because sometimes after these events they just kind of start up immediately. So now we're just gonna attack the papacy straight ahead. Full steam ahead. Just right go for Rome. His troops are recently raised. You ignore the faction for the time being. Uh, we could convince him with money, which we don't have. He must not be allowed to act on his plans. Um, we imprison him, which is an act of tyranny. And it... <laughs> and they gain extra discontent. We are stuck between a rock and a hard place here. It is, nothing is going our way right now. Let's try and convince him to stand united. Let's try that. Maybe they stop. Nope. It's not swayed. 
Okay, sadly, the recently raised armies of the papacy are much stronger than ours. So we're losing um, the Holy War right away. Okay, so... Right. Right, okay. Listen. Um, listen. Uh, okay, I'll only hope at this point... Like, look at the look at this. This. Our only hope at this point is to convert. This is our only hope, or we are completely lost here. Um. So the thing is, how do we convert to Christianity? Uh, so we need to find a spouse that is Christian. Someone who's Catholic. We need to abandon our faith. There is sorry. There's no way of doing that. Sometimes you have to take the L. You just sometimes you have to take the L. So the problem is I don't <laughs> I don't I don't see one. Okay, let's go find a spouse because that should look outside of our realm as well, but as you can see there is not a single Christian man there. Even if we go off matrilineal I mean there's Oh boy. There will be no new drinking until I fill up that Civ 6 thing. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, Christianity. So the problem is we are actually Christian, but we're not Christian enough for the Christians. And we can't find anyone who is a Catholic. And we have no friends. There's a Catholic. Come to my court. 200 gold for you to join my court? Because you're a guest? 200 gold? Why you want to be Christian? Well, we're facing a crusade of 50,000 men. We cannot fight this. Like this. Our troops are right now completely losing against just the papal army. This is just the papal army who just raised. Our troops were right there. We attacked them while they were being raised. Like we we are done for. We are done for. And if we if we lose this, like that's really really bad for us. Like that's that's crazy bad. He gets the kingdom of England. Like we're we're losing a chunk. We're done. Like Um Okay, we can't reform our faith to r save ourselves. Like, wasn't there an option to just convert when you are target of a of a of a thing? Wasn't th was that in Crusader Kings 2? Is that not a thing anymore? If they're just a navy system that allowed to kill invaders before they land. Well, I mean there is if you if you pass them up as they land, sure. Um But wasn't there a thing where I could I could just convert. Wasn't there a thing for that? I'm sure there was a thing for that. Like, you could just be like, Oh, no, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Each character can convert to different faith at any point. To do so, click the faith button at the bottom left corner of the screen. Select the desired faith. What? Faith button at the bottom left. What? 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 Other face? <gasps> oh yeah, there it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You saved us. There we go. You have to open the other faith thing, then you select the faith, and then you then you convert. Uh so <laughs> uh, 
Oh, boy. Howdy. Um, okay, I'm not, I'm not totally giving up just yet. I'm not fully done yet. Let's speed this up. All we need to do is keep our troops here safe, kind of. And wait for the, for the, for the Crusaders to leave. That's all we need to do right now. We need to wait for the Crusaders to leave. In hopes that they do. Yeah, get on your, get on your pretty little ships. Um, I will, I will send my troops immediately, my friend, immediately. Don't worry about it. As you can see, I have nothing else to do but help you. So now we're going to siege the, the holy, holy, holy sea, the, the seat of the Roman Catholic Church. I will not be threatened. And there goes a faction coming at us. Which is at least vastly superior, so that's nice. Let's call in uh, Lothringia here to defend us, who is absolutely going to do that. Get everything in core to zero and spam mercs? Nah. This is our only chance. If we can win the siege of Rome, that is the only, that's the only chance we have right now. Only chance. There's nothing else we can do. Everything else is just miniature attempts at losing at losing slightly less fast all we can do is win this siege and imprison the pope hopefully it's all we can do it's a literal hail mary the the good thing is potentially that this little rebellion here is going to fight the crusaders so you know that could be the saving grace Little Sophia, I don't care. How did you not see any soldiers of me? I sent so many. I sent so, so many soldiers. They were in your lands. Ask your people. Okay, sadly, that didn't work. We didn't capture the Pope. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're quite done. <laughs> We are quite done, indeed. If you capture the Pope, you're winning. You got it. I mean, there are some enemies leaving the war and all. Oh, look at that! Another war for our lands. And thus, the Empire falls, I think. That is pretty much it. Our empire is done. <laughs> Let's go attack the Irish throne. God will I don't care. We are... I haven't lost this hard in a really, really, really long time. Now it's not GG. I mean, we're, we're going to lose most of our lands for sure. Um, I was just going to... Surrender here, doesn't really matter. We lose some bits and pieces, sure, sure. But we're losing everything everywhere right now. Getting crippled without the chance of counterplay. Oh, look at that! Um, the Northman army conquest of the Duchy of something something. So, we are facing a full-on rebellion of everything. And some Northmen. Ah, oh, we're gonna fight them the old-fashioned way. You know it. You know us. <laughs> Our Emperor has died. We're going out with a bang here. That's all we're doing now. We're just taking as many with us as we can. We are going for Scorched Earth. Look at all those little sieges they are running. Fools! They will never defeat us. 
Can I white piece out of this? Not yet. Almost. All of our troops are starving, of course. As is tradition. Let's go fight the landing Northmen. Maybe. Maybe our troops can take on some supplies as they march, but I don't think so. Okay, our ally won his war, so that's nice. Not us, our ally. So don't get excited about that one. So that's the Northman army done. Pointless, pointless, pointless. And now we go attack uh, the Scottish throne. Okay, some of our allies are infighting, that's good. Seven percent. I need somewhere to resupply, please. Let's split our army and just... Oh my god, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, I need the outline. I can't, I can't control the armies like that at all. Okay, cool. Um, no one is stepping away from this. Because they're all good friends of us. They're all trying to help so well. Our only hope was to capture the Pope. Literally the only thing we could have done. And everyone is just dying there. Because they're refusing to split around. So that's cool. Let's go bring our dying troops south. And we can white piece out of this one. So that little rebellion is failed. Very good. Uh, let's put in this... Oh, we have died? Good stuff. Um, so, uh, the mess left behind here. Just another Monday in London. Yes, all the crusaders crawling across about the place. Um, a charming woman. She became famous for her elaborate feasts and grandiose balls. I think she became famous for losing the Kingdom of England. Okay, let's continue here. Question is... Nope. I hate that that is not an option anymore. I, I really hate that. Why did they take that out? That is so silly. Okay, but we have a powerful soldier man. Uh, so let's go for chivalry focus. And lead our own troops into battle. We go full on crazy boy now. We'll just attack right into these. We'll just go fight them. It doesn't matter anymore. We're just we're just gonna go. Look at that. Just a slight defeat. <laughs> ah, he can lead. Perfect. He hates us. Long live the Emperor. Let's go. We're just full-on fighting these guys here now. Of course we're gonna lose it, like there's no question about it, but... What are we supposed to do? We can't spread our armies to resupply. Like, we, they're not gonna resupply. Now he's still gonna be Emperor, we're just gonna lose England. I mean, just losing England is kind of horrible because that's where we are, that's where we live, that's our home. But we're surrendering, I'm done. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, actually, oh, okay, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad, it was just really bad, just not so bad as I thought. Alright, okay, um, time to convert, we're done with our own religion up here. Definitely never, ever, ever, ever gonna do that again. Um, uh, and I can't find the thing. Alright, we're ahead of faith, so we're not even allowed to convert. <laughs> even now we're not allowed to convert. Look at this. We're not allowed. We don't have the piety and we're ahead of faith. Oh, we're so done. We will be so destroyed. There is nothing we can do anymore. 
adopting our own religion, which is, by the way, again, it's Christian. Adopting that was our death blow. It's like it's like the cyber uh, the cyber truck is is basically not good for Tesla. Creating our own religion wasn't good for Alba. Like, oh my god, utter destruction. I haven't failed like this in a really really long time. Um, you can make religions in Europe, but uh, you should be sure to uh, be clear about being very Christian and being considered by other Christians to be Christian for sure for sure but yes avoid it I don't like I never do that the only reason I did it was because stream um so na 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 don't do it oh god I'm it's overwhelming right now. I need to kind of reconsider my options, rethink how I approach stuff, and what we do next. Or if I just throw in the towel. Like, that's another thing. Uh, I think that's really important to learn about these kind of games, is the second you stop having fun, stop playing. Like, that's just something I had to learn really, really hard. Like, I was... Um, I was one of those people easily tilting in League of Legends when it was new and stuff like that, you know? Uh, so, we have options still. We could still fight around, we could still try and uh, get our stuff back, for sure. No problem. Um, but, I mean, look at that. 6,000 soldiers. We don't have anything to match that. Uh, and if we take it back, then what? Then what? The, the, the Catholics are just gonna roll over us again. So... I don't know. I think the experiment with the Harbi religion was fun, but we're absolutely not gonna take any prizes here anymore like that. We can't we can't take on Scandinavia because they're very united in what they're doing. Like you saw how how much we, oh actually somehow we got a little bit of Scandinavia here, but not much. Um, you saw how much we struggled there before, right? We're sitting on top of uh, constant factionings now. Which, of course, is now a little bit less because we are no longer threatened so hard from the outside. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's time to take the learn and go to another one. Yeah, 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 I think I agree. I think I agree. Like, this is not... I think this is a good last lesson, honestly, for this uh, learning how to play series. Um, this particular playlist. Because this can happen. You, you make choices and you need to live with the consequences of your actions. The good thing about video games compared to real life is that you can just literally quit. In real life you don't have that luxury, but in, in, in a video game you can be like, thanks. Last lesson, don't piss off the Pope in 2, uh, 10, 23 Europe. Yeah. Uh, ba <laughs> basically. <laughs> basically. Or if you do, be sure that you capture him. Um... And then it's fine. But um, yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think we're gonna continue this much. Let me check around a little bit on, on, on the Scandinavian side. Because there's a lot of little bits now. So you know we could try and press Prince Gustav's claims. That would bring an, a little bit the the Kingdom of Norway. That would bring us that, sure. And we would be able to do it as well, because they don't actually get to bring in their allies. But what does it give us? One more vassal. And a few more people who will join based on our religion, yes. Um, so, even with a defeat like this, I, I want to make that clear, okay? There are people who are hardier than me, who feel like, okay, this is a new challenge, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just going to play along with it, it's all fine. I'm not saying that generally I would immediately always throw in the towel, but the reason... Okay, let me check two more things. The reason I'm considering throwing in the towel is because we can't change religion. If we can change religion, I might consider going, uh, keeping going, but the thing is we can't switch back. We have no piety to do it. And the chance that even if we give away the title of um, head of church, 
that we are going to be suffering another um, crusade that will destroy us. Before we reach the requirements for the piety to switch faith, it's just too high. Like, I don't want to spend another three hours looking at almost secure failure. We cannot win against the Crusades. We don't have enough people. Even if we started taking land over in Scandinavia, even if we took Sweden, even if we took in Norway, even to, if we took all of this, we will not have more people than the Christian world. That is just, that is a guarantee. That's a fact. You know, of course we would weaken the Christian world because we would be taking some Catholic lands here. But um, again, the chances of another crusade appearing and destroying us while we try this is high, very, very high. And um, I think we box ourselves in. There's definitely ways of getting out of this. Uh, for example, what, what we could try and do is uh, try and have our air educated Christian or something like that. And then we could try and take ourselves out. Um, there are paths here. There are many options that you could still try. And if you are the kind of person who is willing to do that, who is willing to invest that time after a failure like this, and it's a failure, like we can't call it anything else. We failed to win our holy war here. They took our attention away from things that we could have won. Like opportunity cost is a is a is a thing here that we were really really struggling with. Uh, we spent too much time trying to take stuff here and it never really materialized. We immediately had to give up Brittany and and this down here. I don't think Brittany would have been defendable, but this would have been defendable if we hadn't been embroiled in all these wars. And since we were constantly embroiled in this war, we were a easy target. An attractive target for the outside world. So, us being in such a long war was basically a signal, hey, everyone, come attack us. Basically, because we didn't instead focus on our own lands to try and build those up. Now, it's very attractive to have your own religion, for sure. I mean, that's, that's not a question. I mean, look at the income that we have uh, this early in the game. It's crazy good. That is fantastic. That is a lot of money. And this guy, I don't think... Let's see. Uh, he is, he's, he's, not even, he's not even a great steward. He doesn't even have the, the lifestyle skill, the education trait for it. So this income is mainly from the domain, which is mainly because we are also holding our own, um, our own bishopric and stuff. So... That's a lot of money flowing in. That is something, yeah, that's cool, but yeah, I don't know. If you're someone who's willing to try, who's willing to go along with that, absolutely, you can still dig yourself out of such a situation. Personally, and I think this is kind of where, where we really can end it here. While I'm very competent at explaining the game baseline, due to me not being a min-maxer, I don't know ways of really leveraging everything that we could leverage in our advantage. I don't really know that stuff. So maybe I'm a bit of a one-trick pony in that way, but I'm not that good of a player that I'm like, okay, I can turn this around, no problem. I have exactly a plan laid out. I, I go with the flow. I like to grow a little bit and then see what happens, you know? Um... But there are reasons why I generally do not mess with creating religions, why the one thing I really kind of work with is converging cultures. Um, but I don't really change religion all that much unless it makes a lot of sense in, in where I am, you know. Fighting another religion while being part of a big religion, that's kind of okay. Uh, growing your religion early on is also okay, but facing Christianity with a Francia that looks like this and a Lotharingia that looks like this. Um, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> like, nah. If this was all scattered and broken, maybe. Maybe. But I don't really see it. Now, wondering, can I 
offer up the save game? Like, is that a possibility? Because if so, I might put that save game down in the description on the YouTube video. Um, if I can figure out how to do it. And then anyone can take over if they, if they wish to continue this particular playthrough in this terrible situation. And then they can show me how good they are. Um, and, and show me, yeah, that was totally easy, no problem, we turned that around in 20 years, no thing. That's great. Uh, so I'm gonna end the YouTube video on this end. We're still live streaming over on Twitch, so if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, we're gonna start a new Learning How to Play series, and hopefully that's not gonna end in such a disaster. But, that's part of the game, sometimes that's just how it also ends. Badly. <laughs> uh, everyone on Twitch will keep going for a little while longer for sure. Bye, YouTube. Wave, wave to YouTube chat. <laughs>